G'day guys, welcome to Photoshop Fun on Matter Game. Today we're just going to do a quick tutorial based on how to do a mask in front of your face type of thing. So here we go. I'm going to open up the image. I've got a picture of myself here, of course, you know. <laughs> what else? Uh, basically, just to save any um, confusion with that, using other people's photos and stuff like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to duplicate the layer. Now, after duplicating the layer, what we're going to be doing, get rid of the back layer. Now, I'm going to take a photo, oh, we're just going to select with the selection tool, go around the face area, go around the contours a bit more, like you know where the bumps are in the face, and cover the hand as well. And go right down here, go around the hand. Now, there's other ways you can do this, you can actually just select. Um, layers and masks and stuff like that, but we're not going to go there this time. Make it nice and easy. Now we're going to copy that with a selection and paste it. All right. So now basically this is what we're, that's what we're looking at. Okay. Now uh, the first thing we're going to do here is go around the edges to make sure that the background there is gone. So we're going to use the eraser tool. We'll make sure we get a nice small size eraser tool. Go around like that. And I actually might just use the selection tool because we're going to bevel and boss this later on. So just select these areas, go around the outside here, and we're just going to delete that background behind the hand. Now I'm going to use the R key and move the cursor around to the right for the rotation. Yeah, simple what I'm doing here. I'm just doing, okay, that's fine, I know it's empty. Um, I'm just using the selection tool, my key tool, going around these areas uh, with the Mac, Command X, which is delete. Now, it's gonna zoom back out. Now, rotate again with the R key. Get it back to the right position there, okay. Now, we put the other layer back on, the one underneath. Now, with the one that we've got selected here, we're just going to move, oops, no, 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 don't want to do that, no, go back. Go to the transformation tool, uh, on the Mac it's called Command T, just to get transformation tool, but it's up to you. Uh, now, on the top there, we've got that little arrow going like that, that's the one we want. Just click it to the bit to the right, and that's what we need, something like that. That'll do us. And I just want to cover cover my hand underneath there so I don't have to go into the, the photo later on underneath. Now we've got that, that's really good. Now what we're going to do now is go to layer. Because we're going to change the layer now, we're going to emboss it. Layer style, come to bevel and emboss. Now with the bevel emboss, I've pre selected this so that's fine. It's a linear bevel. It's all this top style, it's smooth. The depth is 100%. Uh, it's directions up, of course. The size is seven picks and soften is zero. Okay, now the angle is, you can change the angle whichever way you like. This is what we like at this stage. It looks a little bit more fake, not a plastic like mask you put on your face. So that's good. It looks really good there with 144 degree angle. Use global light, of course, altitude 42, linear dodge, and we've got white for the opacity. Opacity is 10, and black, of course, multiply. Opacity is zero for that. So hit OK, and that's what we've got there, right? Now, the background, I'm going to have to go. Oh, actually, what I'm going to do with the hand, as you can see just here, there's a little bit of white. Got to rotate it a bit more so I can get in there and get even with the, the Wacom pen tool. Okay, hopefully you guys are staying up with me on this one. So it shouldn't be too hard to understand. It's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to go around those areas and we're going to... Now, if I did these, like, delete or get rid of the background type of thing, and I did that with the eraser tool, um, you're going to have little bits and pieces of... of uh, the image still there that you, you just don't see unless you use a real sharp tool to eliminate the background. Okay, if you know what I mean. 
Now, okay, now we've got the face like that. Now, usually, down the bottom here, I'll just get rid of the background here. Down the bottom here, we don't really want that. We just want something like, we're gonna go like this, then we're gonna go around my nail. This is something different for a change. Okay, now we're gonna rotate it so we can get around. You can see where my chin is there. I'm just gonna go underneath the chin because I think if it's a mask, it'd come around to here. You wouldn't have the mask coming down to here. You know, it'd be like Batman trying to put a Batman suit or mask on. But we're talking about just a mask, a face mask, you know. So it's pretty straightforward what we're doing here. So we're going like this, going into these little areas here like this. It doesn't matter if you go over the line a bit when you're doing this type of stuff because it's pretty much a similar type of background. The colors are all pretty much the same there. Now that's just the shirt part, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Go back to the rotate tool, zoom it out. Right, now hopefully this is not too far-fetched for everyone. Okay, so now we've more or less like got the face mask going and looks looking really good. Okay, now the background, what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to use, uh, I'm gonna say the clone, clone tool. I'm gonna to clone this background just here, a nice decent size so we don't have to go back into it all the time and muck around. And I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna get rid of the background there. Now, okay, here, this area here, now what I can do, I can actually select around the face area here because we don't need this area. Okay, now if I get a selection of the color, change the background to that color and hit delete. Now, it didn't work. <laughs> I forgot to put a background in there. Okay, I'm just gonna fill the background layer with that color, there we go. Now there's a bit of a bit of a contrast difference there with that part, but we can fix it up later on. Okay, now we get back to the layer with the mask. Now on the bottom here, we've got a little bit of the t-shirt still showing, so we can actually just use the rotate here. We can just use the eraser tool for this area because that's really not going to show up too much. We've got because we've got that image beveled and embossed, so. You know, it's it's quite it's light on that side at the moment, so it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so now we've got that. Now that's pretty good how it is like that. Now there's all these different ways of putting a string in there as well to make it really look like you've actually got a piece of string. It's a mask with a piece of string on it. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is get the lasso tool. No, we're gonna use the circle. The optical, 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 the round tool. <laughs> okay, everyone's going to come on to me now and say, don't you know, don't you know, don't you know. You're going to go onto the mask here and select that. And because it's embossed, you've got that area selected, just hit delete. And see straight away, that's already got the light on one side and the darkness on the other side. So that looks more or less real to a certain degree. Anyway. You get the mess, get the message what I'm talking about. Okay, get from there to there, and that looks more or less like, yep, that looks like string. Um, pixels, let's just make it, uh, let's see, make it five. Okay, click on the background, so now you got that like that, right, okay. Now we're gonna rotate the image a bit so we can really see what we're looking at here. Okay, now we've got that line, and we want to make that look realistic, like a real thing, you know, a real business going on here. Okay, you go to filter, I go to layer, layer style, bevel and boss, and pretty much the same as what we had before, that'll do. Now we want to do another layer and duplicate that layer. And instead of duplicating it, we're just going to do, go with a different color. A color that's like a shadow for a skin. So sample a shadow color, and we're just going to go like this. And go straight along like that, and gonna make sure that one is like that. All right, put that one on top of that one. That's 
that's it. Now the shape ones come down a bit. Now we're just going to go to select, select this. Okay. Now you're going to use that, turn that into a smart tool. You got to go into the smart object, convert to smart object here. It's right clicking the actual layer, and that's how you get that. Now I can go into things like adjustments and brightness and that, and I can change that because it was used as a selection tool. Okay, bring that down like that. I'm gonna bring the opacity down as well. So we've got a bit more of a defined thing like that. Filter, blur, blur more. There we go. Now the top one, we're gonna do the top shape as well. Convert to a smart object. This way, once it's converted to a smart object, then you can do things like, you know, filters and selections and stuff like that. There we go, guys. I see you do the mask. Hopefully, this has helped a lot of people how to do stuff like this. Please let me know in the comments below if you want anything else done. Explained. Cheers.